of my poor head. Uh, I'm afraid I may have had too much air last night. My head is pounding, my body is shaking, and I find myself unable to open my eyes. All I remember from yesterday is the pretty face of my dear Jamila. I was trying to get close to that fierce kitty cat when she once again challenged me to an ale drinking contest. Knowing how wasted she got after the last one, I saw this as a good opportunity to get closer to her. Sadly, I must have miscalculated my own stamina, as very much of the night is then blurred out. I do remember a strong flash of red. Then my eyes opened, and what I then experienced changed the fate of Tamriel forever. My name is Jodara, and this is the Frostbite Chronicles. This is my story. Cold out here. I must find some place warm. Where am I? Oh, it's so horribly cold here. The last thing I remember was just drinking ale at the inn with that beautiful Captain Jamila, and the next moment I'm here. Oh, I better find some sort of shelter, cause this is getting awfully cold. I think I see something over there in the distance, but. My vision's getting blurry, and my mustache is getting filled with ice. It's not a very pleasant feeling. Um, <clears throat> hello! Hey, did I get some shelter for the night? I don't have a way to pay you, but... Oh, bandits. Well, good thing Shodara never comes unprepared. You really thought you could get the best of me? And you, bring it on. Think you're so cool? No. I have battled many bandits just like you. You are no match for me. I see. You do have some nice gear though that could probably help out in this cold. Oh, there's a bonfire there. Oh, let us have a look at your stuff. You have a shield, you have a mace. You have a woodcutter's axe. That could come in handy. Fur armor, bracers. Everything here looks good. You won't need this anymore. And you, what do you have? Hunter's spear, a travel cloak, some more good stuff. Okay, let's equip ourselves a little bit. What do we have here? Oh, we should probably get some fur armor on. Oh, that feels good. Some shoes too. Some gloves. Hide or fur? I feel like fur is a better bet in this cold. Yes. Alright, but we should get some bracers on. I have a nice hood here, but... It's a hooded scarf, it will probably protect me more in this cold. A mace could be good to have up my side too. A travel cloak. Excellent. Okay, this should help, but my limbs are still freezing. Oh, but this bonfire. Oh, that feels good. Feels very, very good. Beginning to warm up now. Starting to feel better too. And guys and girls, welcome to the Frostbite Chronicles. This is going to be the final Skyrim series you will see from me. And it's going to be a nice little mix of some roleplay gameplay, some machinima, some stories, and a little bit of saving the world here and there. So starting off, we are up here in the north. Why are we here? We do not know. All we know now is that we need to survive. We're gonna have to find food, water, warmth, and shelter. But first, let us check our needs. Let's see, I feel satiated. I'm not thirsty. 
but I'm kind of tired, so I might need a little rest. Ooh. Nord mead. And some salmon. I didn't need the bucket, but sure, I'll take the salmon. Okay, let's have ourselves a little sleepy sleep in this cabin here. I feel that there's somebody nearby. I should not go to rest while they are still there. Cannot see anyone, but who knows? Perhaps there are more of these bandits lurking about. Ooh. Now this is a nice little place you got here. Too bad this is your last day. Ah, what a mess. Ooh. A large knapsack. Well, that could be useful. Take your things for now. Thank you. Nope, I don't want to look at your naked body. I'm sorry, you're not that sexy to me. A ball wooden? Excellent. <gasps> this day just keeps getting better. Actually, the day's been horrible, but at least the skooma is a little better. It's good. Some gold. Circle it too. I don't think I need a dagger. Alright. Actually, I could use a dagger, because I could use it together with my... with my mace. I mean, two weapons. They're better than one, right? Alright, that can work. Alright, but I don't really want to sleep in here. I don't trust rooms where there's snow inside. That's something my mother used to tell me. Uh, all the way back in Elsweyer. Right now, though, I should probably get some sleep. I need to figure out where we are, what I'm doing here, but most importantly, I need to try and find a good source of food and water. Okay, let's have a little sleep in this bedroll and rest until we feel ready to move. He cannot do this without your aid. Uh, oh, 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 what a dream. Uh, but at least the day is here. And I have adventures to go on. First of all, I just have to apologize about something. Our gear is different. It appears that after I saved, after that little first encounter we did, we had a little time bug go on. So now that that's fixed, we are back. If we check out our backpack, or our backpack, we can get a backpack. And this is currently our gear and our weapons, so it's mostly the same, maybe with a few changes, but we will of course survive. So how are we feeling today? We're hungry, thirsty, and tired, but at least we're sober, so we got that going for us. Well, let's see what we have to eat. We have a few green apples, which will provide both hunger and thirst, because they are just awesome like that. So let's eat a couple of those. And I'm no longer thirsty. Okay. Well, that's certainly good. I might still be a bit hungry, though. I'm peckish. So, you know what? I think I'm pretty fine. I think you can actually move out a little bit. So, the survival mods that I've added does not give us any lockpicks, sadly. <laughs> the survival mods I've added does give us a few opportunities. If we go in here... We can activate survival skills, so we can basically build a campfire wherever we damn feel like it. And now after it's built, to activate it we will need to get some firewood, deadwood or some ruined books. Which means that we can basically make that campfire there anywhere we want to and feel warm and feel safe. The other thing we can do is that we can craft items on the fly. We can craft ourselves bows and some arrows and some stone hatchets and a walking stick even, which will increase our movement speed. So. We have some very cool things here. We can also clean some pelts, make a lot of cool little extra items, which I find to be very, very intriguing. And that's basically the bulk of it. So you might want to go and uh, chop some firewood, but first... You know, it's really cold out here. Maybe we should go looking for some of the towns. I think I found a map in that tent over there. Let's, let's see here. Okay, so it looks like I'm all the way up here. There might be a city over here on the map. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just let me in. I probably look like a homeless person. If I wanted to stay at an inn, I would probably need some cash. 
Mud crab, do you have any cash for me? Please? No, you do not, but... Well, medium meal, raw food. You do have some mud crab legs, so... You got that going for you. Hmm... How could we easily make money, though, out here in the wilderness? A good idea could be to hunt down some, uh, some animals. <gasps> Speaking of hunting down animals... You will do nicely. And you too, Mr. Wolf. Yeah. Good work. Some wolf meat and some wolf pelt. 75. Oh, well, we should easily get enough to have a night at the inn. Could really go for it. Okay. So the value of pelt and stuff like that have actually been increased to make that an actual viable way of living simply by hunting, which I find to be a very, very nice change. So we do have some pretty good gear on right now. We should be able to survive the, the cold for a little bit, unless we get another blizzard on our hands. You know, we can only we can only hope that rocks are still my mortal enemy, it seems. So, I guess our first quest is to get to solitude. But first, before we get to solitude, to check out the places on the way to see if we can find some supplies, some cash... Maybe even just some bandits to take out for their armor. Could also probably go for a better weapon than what I have at the moment. Is that tower up here? Maybe to see if they have some treasure lying about. I could use some lockpicks though. I hear something. But I think I'm already spotted. Huh. Hmm. Strange. There's a chest here though. And a book. Not interesting. Where are you? I hear you shouting and making weird noises, but I can't see you. You're confusing me, lady. I'm sorry. <gasps> Whoa, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. And die. It appears that our health bar is not visible. Let me fix that. There. Alright, witch. Black mage robes, maybe. Hmm, I haven't actually tried my hand at magic. I did know some magic earlier. Ooh, iron tanto. Woodcutter's axe, a used one. It was a fine one over in camp, but I think I forgot to pick it up. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's 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 check this out. Let's see our apparel here. Gloves. How do they? They give us some standard protection, it feels like. Okay. What about some black fur? That's standard protection. Let's see. This one. Carrying capacity by 35, by 50. White fur it is. Alright. Excuse me, woman, you must you must move now. But let us test out some magic. Ah. Looks I'll have to resort to fire spells for now. Sure I can get something better later on though. So let's get some fire in this hand. And our, uh, is this a two-handed? Oh, that is a two-handed, actually. Let's get the Iron Tanto in the other hand. That could be a fun little combo we can mess around with. All right, let's try that out. Ooh, I can dig this. Whew. Okay, so that was a nice, nice little expedition in there. But we must be on. We should still have some, uh, some daylight. If I look at the sun, it, uh... 6 p.m. How long did I sleep? I must have been knocked out. Still, though, I do... I'm gonna get better at this. There we go. I still feel a bit tired, but I can go on for now. It would be good to have some sort of source of water. I guess drinking the water over here would not be too good. The salt would just kill me. I would not last long. So let us see... How about this cave up here has to- ooh. There's an animal there. If only I had a bow. But I don't. I think you've seen me. Let's just go for the kill. Cause I need your pelt. Sorry. Ah! That was a bloodbath. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, Mr. Snowfox. You are a very sexy beast. Whoa! Now that's some good cash. This is awesome. Okay, now that we have collected some, I guess we should try and... Oh, I feel like there's a fog coming up. I guess, like, we should try and get to the to the town, 
If I mark it on my map, maybe that would help. So if we continued onwards, we could find a way to get up uh, on the road to town, I would assume. So let's keep going. Darkness is going to be upon us soon, and I don't want to be caught out here in the cold. I'd have to seek shelter somewhere. Whoa. Okay. Something is up. Something dark. Very dark. Let's see. This way to solitude. Solitude? Huh. That's interesting. Could it be that this is Skyrim? I haven't been in Skyrim in a long time. Mostly just been down in Elsewhere. Hmm. It's very weird. Oh, there's there's somebody over here. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters are in solitude. Uh I'd better get going. The Imperial Legion? Wait, what are you talking about? I can't remember any of this going on. This is strange. Stay sharp. I suppose I will. I gotta get to a town and get answers. Where's where's Captain Jamila? Did she drop me off here? Huh. Well, light snow is beginning to fall, so before this turns into a full-fledged blizzard, let's take some shelter in this cave, shall we? Hopefully this place will provide some warmth. Could use it. Oh, man. This is... This is a beautiful sight. I still don't know what we could face down here. This looks like rabbits over there. Rabbits I can face. Hey, rabbit. Oh. Sorry about that. Got your leg. It's a little snack for me. You. Where are you going? Nobody escapes the wrath of... I kind of feel bad for killing these poor innocent rabbits, but... I could use the food. Any more rabbits? Whew. That's not a rabbit. Whoa! Closer than I thought. Ugh. Huh. Not today, Mr. Wolf. This is my day, not yours. He's coming. Prepare. Yeah. Got him. Get your meat. Get your pelts. This is gonna sell well. Believe me. What else is down here? The more meat we can find, the better. Hey, Mr. Elk. Looks like you had an untimely device. Untimely demise is what I tried to say. Cold is making my speech falter a little bit. Any more wolves? <gasps> okay, I've seen enough Spriggans in my day to know when to run. I am not out equipped to fight that just now. It does not appear to be any safe places in this uh, this place, and I do not have a blade strong enough to to slay that Spriggan. He's probably calling for his friends, too. I should get out of here. Looks like we'll have to cross the blizzard. This cave was not safe. But we did get some pelts. They're gonna be able to give us a good, good sum of money. So perhaps we can buy something proper once we reach the town. The snow is still falling, but lightly now. It is night. I might want to consider getting some firewood. That could be a good place to start. So let's... Harvest some wood. Alright. Ah, there we go. Little bit of jump in space and time never hurt anybody. Alright. Now let's just gather it all up. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Six pieces of firewood. Should be enough to create a bonfire, because it's getting... It's getting pretty chilly out here. Although... It would be good if we had some place to uh, actually place the bonfire, like inside a cave or a fort or something. Somewhere I could feel safe and protected from this cold. Because I do not have the means to set up a tent just yet. I need to seek other forms of shelter. And hopefully avoid any other creatures that could roam in these parts. I'm still not sure what I'm doing here, but... Could it be a kidnapping? 
who go through all that trouble just to kidnap me. I'm just a thief. I never done an- Oh, well, that's not really true, considering I'm a thief, but... Who would hate me this mu- Oh. There is a camp down there. My sword seems to be bloodied and frozen, but... Hopefully we can still slash some throats with it. There's a campfire down there. I could really go for a bow right about now. Let's see if one of the bandits has one. If not, I might have to create one using the firewood. Oh. There's nobody here. Excellent. Let's warm ourselves by the fire. I could use it. Then again, there is a cave there. Not sure what will be on the other side. <sighs> but for now, I'm glad we have some... Some form of comfort in this cold, harsh place. Not really used to the cold like this. It's not fun. So what we are going to do right now... Is that we are going to craft... Let's see. Let's see. To make this, we will need some... Hide laces, okay? Could get a walking stick, but I'm not that old yet. Could clean the pelt. Uh, a tanning rack. Okay, so we are going to need four hide laces, which means we're gonna need the clean pelt. So let's create one of those, then some hide laces. There we go. Got ourselves a longbow. Stone arrows. We're gonna need some dense stone. I am honestly not sure. Maybe we need a... How would we get stone? Let's see. Uh, this At this time, I'm not really sure. What do they have in these battles? Plate wooden? Wow. Slot of fish scales. Uh, apparently, I find warmth from the battle. That was strange. Let's try entering this cavern now, because it's hard to keep warm by this. If we could just place a campfire inside the grotto, we could be fine. So let's have a look and see who's, uh, who's home. Oh my. This looks... This sounds like a place that's populated. Mm, maybe I would just want to sneak in, see what goods I can get and get out. Don't know if starting a fight in here would be the best one. Stale apple. Uh, I think I'll still take it. The worst comes to worst. <gasps> Depends my stealth skills are not that good. Right. Yeah. Face me. Hiding behind a shield. Hide from these flames, will you? Whoa. That's one of you down. But he else there face me? Oh! Snipe me, will you? Well, good. I was in need of some arrows. Oh, you're up there, are you? I'm coming. Don't you worry about that. You will get neither. You'll be stuck in an endless limbo. Ah. There we go. Didn't have a sexy face, though. I'll give you that. Some arrows, perfect. Steel war pick, I'll take it. Leather armor, probably won't provide as much protection as the one I have at the moment. You are allowed to go. You are dismissed. Bye bye. Looks like there might be some food in here. This could be a good place. Let's get this torch though, because it is starting to get pretty dark in here. Okay. Now let's go back to the other corpse at the start here. What do you have for me? Bandit iron shield. Steel swords. There we go. Some proper armor. I mean, a weapon. I'm starting to get crazy in here, I guess. Alright. Let's have a look in the battles here. Snowberries. Hmm. Probably Nami. Oh! <gasps> they have a huge stash of wine. Guess I won't be going thirsty for long. Oh, this was a great raid. A ruined book. I could take it and start a fire with it. 
tin plate. Nothing here looks that good. Soul gem. Never been one to meddle with the soul gems, but maybe it'll come in handy. It's a wolf pelt at least. And some... Um, nothing interesting here. Stale cabbage. Okay, I gotta, I gotta like pull the line somewhere, and that's that's the line right there. I'm not eating that. No. This is a beautiful little cabin they have, though. All right, let me just. There we go. It appears that I was looking in a little more than I should. Bucket. A lock. Huh. Interesting. A straw. Shoes. Just move along. Alright, let us have a little look here. Some of the... A red apple, perfect. I thought it was stale. An iron helmet. I don't know how well that'll fit my head, but... We can have a look. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I look kinda cool in this helmet. Although I probably shouldn't wear it outside in the cold. I can wear it in here if there are people trying to mess with me. Let's just get the bucket so I can pick up these apples faster. Don't want to have to put my hand down the bucket every time. It, get, it gets it gets boring at times. There we go. And this nice wheel cart is carrying some stuff for me. Some goat cheese. Should be pretty set on food right about now. This is... This is good. I am thirsty though, so let's take a little drinking break here. And I'm very tired. I should try and find somewhere to sleep. Do we have any? We have some wine. I'm no longer thirsty. Hmm. That was really good. Let's eat those stale apples. Ugh! 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 Perhaps eating those apples was not the best idea in the world. Ugh. Let's see. What did I get? My memory and thought process. Well, I am feeling a bit hazy. That was not a very good idea. Should not have done that. Especially not with the good selection of food that is around here. These guys won't know what hit them. Is that everything in this grotto? Seems awfully deserted. There are nobody around here. Except for right over there, I just... Couldn't see you. He smears curse you! And your mother. Yeah. Not today. Arrow's good. Wakisashi. Looks good. Looks very good. Now to remove any evidence. No respect for the dead here. Zero found. Let's pull down this lever. Okay. Going deeper in, my footsteps are echoing all the way through. We got some coin purses, so we should be good. Let's get another torch. This is a good way to uh, supply supply ourselves. This was a very, very lucky find. This cave. Never should have come here. Really, you could say the same about you. You don't mess with your data. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Your pal didn't seem to approve of that. For some reason. Hey, come over here to the pool of oil. I got a little surprise. Ah, uh, you did not step in my surprise. I am disappointed. Very disappointed. <sighs> some people. Some people just don't get it. That's what you were supposed to do. It's not that hard. A great sword. I've never been one for the great swords, honestly. Got some cabbage, though, and some wine. Some good old gold. This is good. Although I am slowly filling up my bag space, so I would eventually have to go into town if I wanted to sell some of all this. Probably shouldn't pick up more of the raw meat. They they weigh me down, but I did find what I was looking for. A bedroll. So let us rest until we feel ready to move on. Find him. Find him. Find him. Uh, that dream again. It keeps appearing. Ugh. Don't know why, but 
It could have something to do with how my body is feeling at the moment. Several places in my body feels awfully ticklish. In places it shouldn't be. I probably need to get to town and get myself a good shower or... Somehow bathe off this horrible, horrible feeling I have. Don't think being out in the wild for this long is good for one. Uh, I got some gold too. I might want to consider heading back. Although that is a very cool place up there. But enough encounters, I want to go back to the way I like fighting. From a distance. Okay. Let's look very carefully now. Might want to focus less on looting, it's taken me a long time to go through here and my backpack is filling up, so even if it hurts me I should probably think about not looting. Unless it's torches, because they're just super useful. Oh! Oh! I did not go too well! Here! Don't you ever bring a dagger to a bow fight, mister! That will get you an arrow in the head, and then one day in the knee. Don't do it. Seriously. They're moving about there. They know I'm here somewhere. But not where. Uh. Just one down. Yeah. Almost have you. <gasps> Skyrim belongs to. Oh! Gah. Oh. Uh. It appears all of that was just a horrible, horrible dream. I guess I should be heading out of this cave then. Do not wish to go further in if what I saw in my vision was truly true. And we're just gonna go back to normal mode for a little bit because I would like to sort of talk to you because well, we've going, been going in roleplay mode for a long time. So what happened there was, well basically I failed. I did not want to die there but it happened so I've now had to play it off as part of the roleplay. Could perhaps, you know, go back and replay it but I felt like we had some pretty cool moments there so just having them in a dream vision like that feels like a good thing to do. I'm not really sure how long these episode, episodes are going to be, it might vary a little bit. I just know that this first episode here is going to be very gameplay heavy. And then we're going to have a bit more machinima and story as we move along, but for now I just kind of wanted to show you this whole survival playstyle and how fun it might be. So, we're about to end this in uh, in just a little bit, but I really do hope you have enjoyed this uh, this series. As I stepped out of that cave and looked around, I realized that this land was truly beautiful and I knew that this day I would reach the town of solitude and well finally get myself a proper bed some proper rest and perhaps some answers as to why I'm here <sighs> my name is Jodara this is my journey <laughs> <laughs>